Hey everybody, Professor Doom here. This is kind of an addendum to the last video that I put up about um, the Jordanian government and the Turkey government responding to the will of the people. Okay, so what has Jordan uh, Jordan's prime minister said now about the displacement or the eviction of the Palestinian people from the Gaza Strip or, or Gaza period? And he is saying that if there is uh, any evidence that Israel's trying to displace the Palestinian people, that they are going to consider that a declaration of war. This is Jordan getting ready to declare war on Israel because we already know exactly what Israel is attempting to do here. There is no attempt about it. I'm sitting here watching all of the events unfold minute by minute. I've been watching everything. And as I said, I can already see. Let's let's take a look at all of the military aircraft activity over Israel. And then I want to show you some very interesting things when it comes to U.S. helicopter activity out in the water of the Mediterranean Sea, just outside of the waters of Cyprus. And I had never seen this before, and there seems to be an uptick in uh, uh, helicopter activity out there. So let's take a look at uh, the skies above Israel, and let's take a look at the skies above the water of the Mediterranean. So as you can see, this blue, um, this blue icon right here, this is Israeli military. This is Israeli military. This is Israeli military. And they are all flying above the Gaza Strip area. That's where they have been right there on the very corner. And this one right on the very outside. And this one has been coming over here and, and aiming around the northern Gaza Strip area. What exactly they're doing, I can only speculate, but I'm going to show you right here. Let me show you. Okay, so if you took a, take a look at where this icon is right here, this plane, okay, this is not the focus of our attention, but I'm going to show you a video that I just took about 15 minutes ago. Here, here's what's so interesting about this. If you take a look at this, um, this Grumman C2 Greyhound and you follow the line, it tells you exactly where it took off from. And you can see, you can see that it's coming from a ship right in the waters of the Mediterranean. But that's that's not exactly what I want to show you that's very interesting. Take a look at this helicopter right to the right of where it ends right there. And we're going to focus in on that. And let me stop this a second. Let me show you this. So as you can see, this helicopter also started out from a ship right here. But what we're going to do is, is we are going to zoom in right here. And you're going to see this thing going in circles. And it does this quite a few times. It's kind of like either they are responding to a boat that's too close to one of their ships. Or is it perhaps a man overboard? But I don't think that they use a Sikorsky helicopter for a situation such as that. But watch this. Let me just show you how interesting this gets. Okay, as you can see, they go around in circles. All right, let's go here to the end. All right. And you are going to see that it started up out of the water up closer to Cyprus. And then as you see right here, there's going to show you it starts to land right in the water, 75 feet.
keep watching 50 feet and I'll speed it ahead a little bit and then it's gonna say on the ground so now you get an idea exactly where the ships are in the Mediterranean although the maritime shipping website uh, app does not show you where the U.S. ships are. This right here, watching the aircraft activity in the skies over the Mediterranean, you learn exactly where the ships are in reference to where Cyprus is and where Israel is. And there you go. Now we're going to back out. I'm going to show you where it started, where it landed, and exactly where it is from Cyprus. There you go. That's how you know. And considering the considering the statement made considering the statement made by Jordan considering everything that I just mentioned in the last video about Turkey and Jordan and all of the uptick on the attacks on the military bases in Syria and Iraq by what they're calling Iranian militias. Well, I, I'm starting to think that this I'm starting to think that we're getting closer and closer to a major, major escalation in the area. That's what I wanted to report to you guys. Keep your eyes to the skies. And any developments happen here, I will surely let you guys know. Thanks, everybody.